Hey there again, it's me, Waste and Johnny Ty. Today we're going to have a lot of fun reviewing the Mineral Mountain Hatchet Works Stick It 2 by Ted Frizzell. This is one of the best knives I've received in a long time. It's a custom, okay? It is a 1095 high carbon steel with a 6.5 inch blade. It's got a linen micarta handle and it's black powder coated. Ted asked me if I wanted it done in a single edge or a double edge. I said, hey man, this is a combat blade. I want it in a double edge. So if you take a look at this butte, it's great, okay? It's one solid piece, full tang, fixed blade with the Mineral Mountain Hatchet Work stamp right there, okay? It's a great knife. The other thing about this knife is that uh, it comes with one of the best Kydex sheaths I've ever seen. Uh, this sheath is great. It's got a nice fold over on there. I mean, it's seamless, all right? It's got a little back piece. It's, it locks in great. It's a really, really good knife and sheath this uh, system. I'm sorry, excuse me, system. But um, today's not just going to be about the uh, beauty of the blade, which a lot of my reviews are. I'm actually going to use it on some of this stuff here. Let's just put the sheath aside for a moment. I have some uh, old Kung Fu sashes that I've been cutting up, right? Just cut through these like butter. It's one, two, right? And I've been just cutting through uh, boxes of these with this knife over the past week. I told uh, uh, Ted to let me play with this knife for a while so I could try to dull it out a little bit and uh, have some fun. And he's like, have fun with it, Johnny. Okay, so that's exactly what I am. Oops. What I am doing here, I just want to cut myself because I don't like cutting myself. Look how easily this cuts through this material. And this is uh, triple stitched, double lined canvas, okay? It also cuts through uh, cardboard fairly easily. I'm cutting this uh, all week as well, okay? You can see how it cuts through that fairly easy. Another thing I have is 14 layers of chrome pan horse hide. Okay, you look at this horse hide. It is really thick. And horse hide is some of the uh, thickest leathers you can get out there. And they make shoes out of it. They don't make too much out of it anymore because it's horse hide, but it just goes right through there. Also, Look at that. This isn't even a full swing because of the lack of space, but 14 layers goes right through that. Okay? Stick it. That's just crazy. It's all stuck. All right? That is a bad boy of a knife. 14 layers of horse hide. Okay? Way thicker than human skin. Now, the reason I compared it to human skin is because this is a, a, a combat knife. Okay? It's got a good, uh, actually use this again. It's got a good forward weight to it, it's slicing right through there. Okay, so it's got a good forward chopping weight to that. In fact, uh, so you've got him here, okay? He's gonna do this slow. He's gonna come in with this punching mitt that I put the three collie sticks, right? My little fingers on the back there. And as he swings it in, we're gonna do about a quarter speed uh, counter slice with this knife where I'm just going to slice like this. So when he comes in with this, I'm just going to do a quarter speed slice with the knife, catching and seeing how deep this may cut that pad. Now, I've not done this before, so I'm not going to swing at full speed. Uh, I don't want him swinging this like a bat at me because I don't want, because it's not his arm, and I don't want to knock in the knife and killing our hammer guy, right? So just go once, right? Wow. Look at that. Imagine if that was an arm. All right, do it one more time. Let's get one more slice. Keep it nice and flat coming at me, all right? Oh, where did that one go? I don't know, I must have hit it awkward. One more time, all right? Oh, you wanna know I'm hitting the tape here, or the zipper. One more time, hmm, okay. I'm not getting, hold it still. I'm not getting, oh, that one did. Wow, that's, that went, holy smokes. 
that one went straight through the pad. Just as I was saying, I'm not getting the depth. Look at that. That went that deep into there. Just as I was saying, hold it that way, right? It's really the angle, how you catch this stinking pad, all right? Yeah, snap cuts don't work on it. But, uh, well, you could see what I've done with two of the slices, all right? The two that did connect. I am fairly confident that if this was an arm, okay, or human flesh, oh, wow. Oh, that's a bone. That went straight to the bone there. Look at this. This is a stick. This knife, he didn't call it a slash it, he called it a stick it. So let's see. Yep. I think uh, we discovered what old Ted meant when he said stick it. This is kind of fun, right? You gotta be careful with this thing, right? Look at that. Straight, straight to the sticks in the back. The stick it has stuck the sticks. All right, so it is proven to be a really good stabber, all right? I think it's a good slasher too. And this is kind of a thicker bottle. We've seen companies cut water bottles and a, a, a guy I know, he's a, a co-knife designer over at Topps. He's hung some uh, gallons filled with Jello. His name is Colin Despins. Um, really, really cool idea. So I filled a Ice Mountain gallon bottle with four packets of Jello. Um, I use dirty water, so God, we can't eat this after. But we're going to see how good this can stick this. God, can you just put your hand on top, all right? Just a full extension for me, all right? Just take a step back that way. There you go. I'm going to, no, give me a favor. That way. Thank you, all right? I'm going to come this way with the knife and see how good this can slice, all right? I'm going to see if I can do my old cut here. Oh, that didn't really cut it very well, did it? Hmm. Actually, you know what? There's ridges in here. Let me be stopping it. Oh, that cut it. Let's try this. Hold it one more time. Hand on the top. I'm going to stab it this way. Wow. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> and the jello oozes out. That was a good display. Look at that. I bet. Doesn't even take that much pressure. Okay, this bottle is thicker again. It's ridged. I guess it's just designed to. Uh, it's just designed to uh, not uh, crack. So maybe it's not as good as a milk jug or a water bottle. Okay, but this definitely sticks anything that it wants to stick. Again, my name is Waste and Johnny Ty. This is the Stick It To from Mineral Mountain Hatchet Works. If you want to know more about this great 1095 high carbon steel blade or Ted Frizzell, simply go to mineralmountain.com.